China looks like Japan mm. in 1990. If you look at the the demographics, which is a really really good conversation. Now I've I've enjoyed having that one with people, but um, Japan's in a weird one. Mm. Yeah, and especially with the amount of U.S. debt that they own. Japanese pension, I think Japan owns the most out of yeah. anyone actually, mm. um, and their pension funds. So there's a really interesting sort of uh, relationship there between Japanese uh, US Treasury holdings, the yen, and actually the Nikkei. I got long the Nikkei a little bit mm. earlier this year because it was a it was quite a good trade. But um, yeah, I personally think they 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 should raise rates to get on par a little mm. bit. I think the yen's mm. gone a little bit too weak, um, but they don't seem to be caring that much. Yeah. They do some yen interventions, then it gets yep. run over again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, 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 I'm steering clear of Japan because they're too, they're a bit too volatile at the moment. Mm. I think I, I'm, I, I don't have a clear view on them. Makes sense. Moving into let's ignore August, going into September, September until December. What's your outlook? What are you really looking for? And what your what is your advice to traders, day and swing traders? What to look for? Uh, how to base their decisions, how to approach this market, still expecting a lot of volatility. Well, I think um, I've been mentioning UK disinflation quite a lot mm. to, to my guys because I think the energy price cap has been a massive, massive support to uh, UK headline inflation. Mm. You know, it's really, really kept it up there. They probably could, because the way that I figured it out was that, you know, uh, a nat gas supplier... Yeah. Or an energy supplier is probably going to hedge their demand mm. uh, or hedge their prices over 12 months, say. So the peak in that gas was August last year. So I said to the guys, though, I think, you know, from July onwards, we're going to start seeing disinflation in the UK. 